Hey everyone, it's Jack here at 360 Fitness. Uh, today we're talking about good, better, best lists, okay, when it comes to health and fitness. And good, better, best lists are kind of uh, the counter to focusing on health and fitness in absolutes. And I see a lot of people start off in absolute terms when it comes to health and fitness and really crash and burn real fast. In saying that, what I mean by absolutes is I'm going to go to the gym five times a week from zero to five. And then if they don't get five, it's not worth it. They're not going to go at all. I'm going to be strict on my diet or not at all. And they're kind of thinking that health and fitness has to have an on or an off switch where it's not so much black and white. There's a nice, beautiful, sexy gray area in the middle that you can kind of ride the wave and you don't have to be perfect all the time. You just have to know your parameters and your guidelines. So when you're at the bottom, you know that you got to get to the top. We at the top, you know it's it's absolute awesome, but it's okay to kind of drop back down every now and then. You just have to kind of ride the wave and get off that silly roller coaster of such high extremes and lows. So I developed kind of a good, better, best list for the main things about health and fitness. We can add a couple things, but these are the big caveats. We got our weight training, we got our daily movement, sleep, water, veggies, and fruits. That kind of handles a whole bunch of different things. Uh, we can add in you know different things like protein and stretching and mobility, but let's focus on this first. So for weight training, Twice a week is good, right? Three times a week is better. Best is four times a week. For daily movements, we're talking about just steps here. Uh, don't worry about so much cardio and stuff like that with this list, but for daily movement, about 5,000 steps a day is great. About seven and a half is better. And then best is 10 plus. For sleep, we got six to seven, seven to eight, and eight plus, right? Depending on um, the, the younger you are and the older you are, right? So on more extremes on the age platform is we've got to sleep a little bit more. And then obviously with weight training, a lot of our recovery and a lot of our, our muscle gain and muscle retention happens at night. So make sure you get your sleep in, guys. So for water, right? So this is different for everybody else. But if we can have like a, a, a main gap here for water, at two liters as kind of a bare bones minimum, guys. Three liters is wonderful. And then four to five liters is best. There's a super big law diminishing returns after four liters. So if you can get four to five liters on your weight training days, that's great. So for veggies, if we're having them twice a day, maybe a couple servings each time we're having it, maybe at lunch and dinner with a big salad and, and a large uh, side of veggies at night, that's good, right? Better is twice a day with a phytonutrient green supplement something that includes veggie extracts and fruit extracts and best is three times a day right breakfast lunch and dinner or maybe a snack plus your green supplement same thing goes for fruit you know bare bones minimum we'll start off with the green supplements you know this will cover all the phytonutrients and micronutrients that fruit has and you know kind of keep your calories a little bit lower but even better is getting those good calories right once a day plus a phytonutrient green supplement and best is twice a day servings for fruit and a phytonutrient green supplement. So guys, just kind of focus on this, adding your own kind of what's good, better, and best for you. You know, maybe when it comes to stretching, mobility, protein intake, a whole bunch of little things, little microcosms that are important to you. But on big, big picture, focus on good, better, best, right? And then doing what you can that week, rather than focus on an absolutes, where if you can't make it to the gym on Monday, you skipped until next Monday. It doesn't work like that. Right? It's getting back on track at the at the next possible train station. Okay, So if you missed your stop, get off on the next one. Right, The next meal, make it good. You know, Whenever you have a chance to work out, get it done. If you have a chance to get some more active uh, living in it, get it done. So focus on good, better, best. Steer away from the absolutes, especially if you're kind of a zero hero kind of person. And, and this will kind of guide you a little bit further uh, down the path. Okay. Hope this uh, resonates with you guys. Hope you get some good info from it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, hit them up below. Bye, guys.